Most parts of the valley sit at a level two, which is moderate, but that was not the same story on Friday. Some parts of the valley reached a level five, which is the worst air quality. Behind me, the mountains are very hazy, especially the peaks, but we're not in the clear just yet. Just because the fireworks are behind us doesn't mean we have a few more factors to worry about. We have an air quality issue year round. Pollution, wildfire smoke and excessive heat all play a negative role in the valley's air quality. So if you have a problem, stay home, use your medications, see your doctor and hydrate yourself. But poor air quality can impact everyone, not just those with pre-existing health conditions or allergies. You feel some itching of your eyes. You feel a little bit funny breathing. You know, you can't get enough air inside your lungs, you may have a little nasal congestion or feels like dry, but at the same time congested. The San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District suggests an air purifier, close your windows, change your HVAC filter, and even your cabin filter in your car. These steps are especially crucial if a wildfire is near. Over on the Central Coast, the Madre Fire is burning tens of thousands of acres in San Luis Obispo County. When there is any fire that size near the valley, we must be vigilant. A mm -hmm. um, little bit of uh, movement in the meteorology and that plume could go from out over the ocean right back over the valley and hang out with us. While we hope that plume doesn't make its way to the valley, heat is something we can bank on. When the air pollution is so high and the heat is high, the worst time of the day is between 12 to 6 p.m. Now, the Environmental Protection Agency has a free app that you can download that shows our air quality in real time and to your exact location. Here in Fresno, it's currently at 129, which is a level three unhealthy for sensitive groups. It also predicts tomorrow's air quality, also showing a level three. Reporting live in Fresno, I'm Hitty Gonzalez, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.